Hello again. So the initialization step has completed successfully and we have this panel now. Press next. These are the settings. Default settings for the halakithid lamp of copper. Press next again. And this is the this is the uh, wavelength used to determine the copper in the samples. Now press search peak and wait. Now the peak search almost has completed and it's drawing energy of the maximum peak of copper. Wait. The intensity is almost 100 person, which is very excellent. And the wavelength, as you can see, is the is uh, 324.8 nanometer. Now press close next and finish okay so this is the uh, working panel now we are going to ignite the uh, instrument so first of all we have to make sure of the pressures for each of air and uh, the acetylene and this is the air compressor and these are the gauges this gauge has to read between 0.3 to 0.4 megapascal okay so this is a great and from this gadget we can control the flow rate of the uh, air okay now this is okay keep it this is the burner head which is made of titanium alloy and now we have to check the cylinder of the estylene this is the estylene cylinder so we have to open it. Okay. And these are the gauges. Now we are going to ignite the instrument. Press ignite. Okay. Okay. Press it. Press okay. And now good the fire lit okay close the lid I opened the lid just to see what's going on inside the instrument but there is no need to open it it's for your safety and now everything is okay now let's connect the auto sampler this is the auto sampler button. Press it. Now tick this option. Make it online. Initialize it. And uh, it's working. Okay, this is good. Of course, thank you to Engineer Ahmed, who is setting up the uh, auto sampler. Press OK. And now let's check the parameters. How many standards? We are going to use three standards to draw the calibration curve with one blank, which is made of uh, deionized water, and one unknown 
which has to be around 2 ppm in concentration. Sensitivity correction is 1. Display between 0 to uh, 0 to 2 maximum. Now we are going to calculate the area. This is the air compressor started. Okay, sounds very loud. Now let's check the quality control panel. Press OK. And now we have finished from the parameters. Let's set the samples. These are the settings. Concentration mode. I'm going to use the parts per million ppm. Press next. Now I have three different concentrations. One, two, and three ppm standard solutions to draw the calibration curve. I put these standards into starting with R1. Let's see, the, this is the tray of the auto sampler. Here we can see these are, it's not very easy to monitor by video. This is R1, R2, R3. These, the inner ring start with R1 to R8. The outer ring start with one here and almost to 60. Okay, so I put the standards here. You can put it anywhere you want. So I put it here and chose R1. Now press next. How many blank correction? How many uh, after uh, how many times of determination I have to uh, clean and make blank correction? This is I set it here for three times. So when the auto sampler pick up three different samples, it has to pick up. Uh, it has to make a blank correction after that once. Okay. Next, now we have here a blank started with number one. So it will be like this: U N K one, U N K two, and so on. I put the unknown in uh, position 4 so I told I put here 4 this is the 4 position so it will start for unknowns from this point and all these factors has to be equal 1 finish the instrument is ready this is the program I have entered now I will press auto 0 Then press measure, and here we have to press start. See, this is the auto sampler. This is deionized water. It's going to wash the tubing first, which is going to the atomizer. Then See here, it will uh, suck the blank. So this is the blank tube filled with the ionized water as well. Okay, and here we are waiting for the yes. This is the absorption of the blank. Now it will wash it again. Wash the tubing of the auto sampler this is not ppm this is a standard First standard of Kappa.
Okay. This is the result of it. We got all the as you can see here, uh, the instrument start to draw the calibration curve. This is the first point, the second, and waiting for the third one to fulfill the calibration curve. Now it's getting the third standard. Now it's getting the first unknown which is position in position 4 and here you can see this is the uh, result obtained ok thank you for watching the next episode, we'll, we will talk about the graphite firmness and the uh, flameless analysis in atomic absorption spectrometer. Thank you very much.